So Trump was just, hey, let's give the people what they want. This is what the voters want. And that's why I predicted he was going to win. That's why Ann Coulter predicted he was going to win. It's because like, okay, finally, someone has come along. And the propaganda about democracy is now going to be tested. Here's a guy. He's going to offer you what you want. You're going to vote for him. And he's going to deliver what you want. You know, order a pizza. <laughs> if they deliver Chinese food or a bag of uh, uh, hazelnuts, you're not so happy, right? So this is, and so Trump was really fascinating. And I thought, gosh, what a great test of the theory. Someone who is, is incredibly popular, somebody who's been a public figure for 40 years, somebody who was pretty universally beloved by the media. Like he was never called a racist until he was a Republican, right? And, and had some power. So, and he's got billions of dollars. He's very smart and, you know, beautiful wife and lots of high status stuff, right? So you couldn't, you couldn't design a better experiment to test the thesis of democracy. Now, if Trump hadn't gotten in, the thesis of democracy would never have been tested. Now, I wanted that thesis to be tested because I'm, I'm an empiricist. Let's find out what actually happens if a politician or anybody actually listens to the people and tries to give them what they want. Oh, isn't that amazing? And what happened? You know what happened as well as I do. I mean, the, the, the counteraction, it wasn't Trump, right? I mean, Trump was irrelevant to the equation. They were moving against the American people or the majority of the American people who voted for, for Trump, at least the electoral college-based votes. So people are like, oh, great, someone finally is in there to give me what I want. And then they saw what the state is really all about, which is they attacked everyone around him. They attacked him endlessly. They undermined him. They lied about him. They slandered him. They called his supporters Nazis and racists and white supremacists. And, and they just coiled snake time, right? Oh, well, we told you that democracy was about identifying what you want and voting for someone who was going to deliver. We but we only said that. So you'd shut up and pay your taxes. Oh, you're actually, you're actually trying to do that? Oh, boy. Well, as you say, the mask comes off. You say, oh, well, now see that, that's just bullshit we tell you so you'll obey. If you actually try and do it, you'll see what happens. And, uh, and then it culminated in you know, a huge disaster last November where you have significant portions of the American population who believe that the election was entirely stolen and you have a court system that simply refuses to hear the cases.